but <laughs> right a Westland father never imagined he'd get back priceless video from a family vacation after his GoPro vanished during a scuba dive. But thanks to the kindness and hard work of some strangers, well, he was proven wrong. Seven Action News reporter Nuprakash talked to him and joins us to tell us the story of persistence. Wow. Yeah, this is really a sweet story. You know, Corey Buckaloo did not realize right away that his GoPro was missing, but when he noticed, he was absolutely devastated. I never thought I'd see it again. That's that's true. I, I just Corey Buckaloo remembers feeling shattered when he realized his GoPro was lost in the ocean during an August vacation to Boca Raton with his wife and two boys. He has some cell phone pictures, but that GoPro had many more, including video of his son's first scuba dive. It's the first time in the water, really, and, uh, you know, you don't get a second chance to do that. So it was really... Uh, it was really upsetting to me to, to lose that. Five weeks went by, and what he didn't know is that his GoPro had washed up a few miles north. Alan Afro was on a pre-dawn walk with his wife when something caught his eye. I was illuminating the flashlight on the sand, and it was high tide at that point, and the seaweed was at a high level, and that's where we were walking, and I happened to notice it in the seaweed. Afro and his wife didn't think twice about it. They took that GoPro to the Boca Raton Police Department. And I left it with a uh, police officer, and they said they would try and track down the owner. And boy, did they try. They searched that GoPro and found a big clue, this picture that Corey had accidentally taken of himself. The cops spotted a Boy Scout troop logo on this shirt. They Googled it and contacted the Scoutmaster. That's when they found out this was Corey Buckaloo, and they had his GoPro. Corey's priceless video was intact, too. He recently got the good news. They really took some time. They put a lot of effort into it, and, and, and they found me. And, and you know, I'm going to get my memories back, so I'm really excited about that. He's also full of gratitude because of Alan Afro. I, I, I'm most grateful to him. I mean, he did not have to do it. You know, if everybody does nice things for other people, then uh, the world's a much better place. My philosophy in life is uh, what comes around goes around. Someone gave me their son's kidney 23 years ago, and I'm alive as a result of that. And uh, this was just a minor nothing thing to do, but it was important to me to make certain that I tried to get it to the right ownership. Oh, don't you just love that? Now, Corey says Boca Raton police have put his GoPro in the mail, so he should be getting it any day now. And Corey did offer to give Mr. Afro a reward or a gift certificate for dinner. Oh, I can't imagine you take it. Yeah, he yeah. did not. He politely declined, but in his honor, he did make a donation to an very organ nice. donation charity. So that was very sweet, but certainly a very feel-good story. Everybody today. keeps oh, yeah. paying it forward. Good yes. people. Good, great people. Yep. Thank okay. you, Anu. Thanks, Anu. There is.